All right, so this is going to be a quick video about the Stell Inspiron 15 model 3542. Okay, so we're going to be upgrading the hard drive to an SSD, um, and I'm just going to show you what's underneath this cover and how to remove the battery. Not really much else because that's all the customer needed. All right, uh, I believe also if you want to remove the CD drive, there's this one screw and then you can pop this out. I'm going to show you here, we're going to be using a PH1 or JIS1 screwdriver, okay? And we're going to remove this screw. Let's see if the CD drive comes out. I'm curious, all right? So, yep, one screw and you can see it pops out and you can see how it holds into there. All right, very simple. If you wanted to upgrade this to replace this with a hard drive or something or an SSD, you can do that. Um, I would use the main slot for the actual boot operating system though, um, but yeah, all right. Oh, okay. It's a little bit tricky to get back in, but there we go. All right, we're going to get this screw back in. Again, I'm just going to show quickly. Here's the battery. Pull these two tabs to the side. They kind of stay apart by themselves. Then from the back here, you can lift it up and it comes out just like that. Battery model number, if you need to replace it, is right here. XCMRD, all right? There you go, XCMRD. You can put the battery back in. You put the this side in first, get, the, get it lined up, push it in that way, and then click it, drop it into place, and push it down. And there you go, it auto locks itself back into place. All right, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna open this bottom cover and see about the hard drive um, or and RAM. All right, so once we remove that screw, I think we can slide this down this way, hopefully. Yep, all right, there we go. Then we can slide it down and we can pop it out. And here you can see there's one slot for RAM, wireless card, and the hard drive. So the RAM, pull these two tabs to the side, pops up like that. Then you can go ahead and pull this out. You can see the RAM here is an 8 gig PC3L 12800S stick. So I don't think this has two sticks, otherwise it'll have more than 8 gigs. I didn't check how much RAM it actually has. Um, but if it has more than 8 gig sticks, then maybe there's another stick or soldered memory on the board somewhere. But if you want, you can probably find a 16 gig stick of this, but it'll probably be very expensive. All right, wireless card, I'm not going to show how to remove because I do it on other videos, but basically you pull up from the tails of the antennas to pop it out. One screw, it pops up like the RAM and you can pull it out. All right, hard drive, we're going to remove this screw here. All right, once we remove that screw, we can use this little tab to help slide the hard drive back. So just pull it back like that. If for some reason this tab breaks, you can just put some tape over here and then use the tape to help pull it back. Um, if the tape doesn't stick well, you can use two pieces of tape, like one on this side going this way and another going this way. Make a meet in the middle so it turns into a pull tab and then you can use that to pull. All right, anyways, we'll pull this out and we're gonna transfer this little metal um, bracket or whatever you wanna call it. Um, over to the SSD. Okay, so those two screws will remove and then hopefully after that we can just pop this off. Let's see. Okay, so it comes up like this and it looks like this part's held in with some adhesive a little. Um, we're gonna see if we can transfer data over but this hard drive is having issues reading. So yeah, we're not 100% sure if we'll be able to get the data or not but we'll do what we can. Alright, so now we'll get this, line it up and we'll get the two screws back in. Okay, very simple. This hard drive is, or the SSD is thinner than the original hard drive. So we will have to kind of hold it up a little bit as we um, slide the connector into place. Okay, so we'll just get these two screws in and then we'll hold that to tape it down. Then we'll go ahead and slide this over just like this, get, it, get the connector in and slide that into place. Perfect. All right, now we'll just get this screw back in to hold the hard drive in so it doesn't slide back out or anything. Then we'll get this cover, slide this into place, all right, and then we'll put this screw back. So there are two methods. If your old hard drive is working fine and you just wanna upgrade, you can actually clone your hard drive over using um, a tool called Macrium Reflect free. They have a free edition. If you need help finding that, I have a video showing how to use that somewhat um, to clone it over and how to install it. But um, yeah, that's pretty much all that needs to be done to upgrade or to swap to an SSD. I am going to install Windows from scratch on here. Okay, uh, let's move this out of the way. So I am going to um, install Windows from scratch on here. You can see Inspiron 15 3000 series. Okay, 
but yeah, we are going to install Windows from scratch. I know I said that a million times. Um, we're going to be installing Windows 10. Let's go ahead and grab a my Windows USB installer. And what you're going to do is you have to create the Windows USB installer. If you need help doing that, I have a video of that as well. I'm going to put that in. So power it up. Press F12 while it's booting up. This will go to the boot options. In the boot options, you'll see there's hard drive, USB storage, all this other stuff. Um, I actually need to go to the BIOS settings first because I turned off um, uh, Secure Boot. So I'm going to turn that back on. So in the boot section of this, you see Secure Boot. I disabled it. I'm going to go back in there and enable it. Okay, then we're going to exit, save changes. And now I'm going to press F12 again to go back to the boot options. Okay, and then I'm gonna boot from my uh, SanDisk Cruiser Fit, which is my USB that has the Windows installer on it. And we're gonna install the 64-bit version, of course. Very straightforward from there. You just follow the on-screen prompts and do whatever you want if you want it to install certain things. Um, usually what I do is I make sure that there's no partitions on the drive. Um, this is a brand new drive, so it shouldn't have any partitions on it. And then from there, we will do a clean install. So let's go ahead and wait for this to finish. Okay, it might take a while. There we go, it's booting up. I believe there's also a touchscreen model. Oh, that stuff doesn't come off. It's like specs of stuff, not dust. Oh yeah, it is touchscreen. So let's see if we can go next, install now. Okay, it's gonna start up. We'll wait for this. Pretty simple and straightforward. Okay, setup is starting. All right, accept the license. Next, custom install. And then the drive is unallocated. We'll go next. It will automatically create the partitions for me. And there we go. So here you can see it's going to install. And that's pretty much it. Then just follow the on-screen prompts, doing whatever you want to accept the um, privacy stuff and all those things but yeah that's all there is to it hopefully this video helped you guys out if it did make sure again to like subscribe share my channel with others excuse me so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well if it helped you save a bunch of money please consider contributing a little to the channel every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living as well as all the other videos I'm making um, if you don't really care to watch computer repairs for laptops other or computers other than your own. I do have random reviews and other random videos, some that can be fun, some that you might not really care about. But yeah, go feel free to go through my channel, see what there is, and I'll see you all in the next one. All right, let's drop this. Bye.